Hello, this is Reza Red from Red Acad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the like very new hot feature announced in the latest version of Power BI Desktop December 2020 version, which is direct query for Power BI datasets and analysis services. Uh, I'm going to explain what it is, why it is important, why it is a big deal, why you see so many excitement about that in social media. Let's see what it is. To understand this feature, first you need to understand uh, how Power BI works. So it requires a little bit of like background information. Um, Power BI can be used as an import data mode. Uh, I have a whole blog and a video about this. When you use Power BI in the most common way that people use it these days is that you connect to a data source, you import data from that data source. This can be Excel, SQL Server, whatever. You import that data, there will be a copy of that data in memory and everything happens in memory. When you import data, you actually can do everything you like. You, uh, you don't have any limitations in terms of the flexibility. You can customize your data tables using Power Query, do whatever transformations you want. You can create relationships in any ways you like, write DAX expressions, do the visualization. So basically you are using Power BI with the full power, with the full flexibility when you use import data. Um, and that is why this method is so popular because it gives everyone the uh, flexibility to do whatever they want. However, uh, there's a big problem with that. And the problem is that like uh, you start with building a Power BI file, then someone else in your organization to start building another Power BI file. Someone else is starting building another Power BI file. Uh, because there are like many data sources that you get data from, Excel, SQL Server, a web page, uh, Google Analytics, a file in a SharePoint folder. Everyone starts to build their own Power BI file. So you end up with like tons of Power BI files everywhere, like a lot of silos. Uh, in fact, Power BI get to use like the way that Excel has been used. Everyone has their own version and then you have to dig around to find which version is the one you can trust more. A lot of redundant information. A lot of people did the same type of calculation in different ways. You don't know which one to trust, which one not to trust. Uh, there are a lot of times, budget spent to build something like that. So lots of redundancy, no consistency. Uh, and all of that ends up with uh, lowering the trust in the Power BI result in the organization, which in fact is not because of Power BI, it is because the way that Power BI is used because everyone built their own model. So import data comes with that side effect uh, when you use it. Now, Power BI has another way to deal with it, which commonly used um, in many organizations called uh, live connection. You can use Power BI with live connection, which basically what it means is that you create a Power BI dataset. This dataset can be published to a Power BI website uh, or it can be in analysis services. And then you have a report connected live to that dataset. That report that is connected live to that dataset basically doesn't have any model. It's just a connection. You can't even go to Power Query or change anything because that is the central model keeping those information in your report, you just visualize it. This is ideal for making sure the silos doesn't happen, making sure that everything is governed, making sure that you don't have redundancy and things like that. So it helps with most of those challenges we talked about in the previous slide. Uh, but the problem now would be, uh, well, this doesn't really give uh, anyone the ability to to bring their own data sources. So the big limitation of live connection, of course, until now, because now it has changed, is that, uh, well, people couldn't bring their own data sources. If they use live connection, that means they can't really do anything. They can create a report level measure, but that is uh, the only thing they could do. Uh, it won't be an option for self-service users because basically they don't really do any self-service. Uh, their only self-service thing would be visualization, which most of the self-service users would like to bring other data sources and combine these together. 
That is why, until now, live connection has been used mostly in enterprise BI only systems where there was a BI team, they've developed some solutions, they've uh, provided these Power BI datasets to others and others just use that as a visualization only which wasn't really the way that self-service users wanted. So self-service users normally did it some other ways. They either imported data from that, which created again like copies and some other challenges, or they started building their own. So self-service world and the enterprise world until now were totally separated. Live connection couldn't connect them together. Now this feature that you hear about around, which is direct query to Power BI dataset or analysis services, what it means. This means that we have that limitation now lifted. Now you can have one Power BI dataset build on top of, let's say, a bunch of data sources, SQL Server, Oracle, some, some other data sources. So we built a model. Now this model can be used in another model as a direct connection, direct query connection, and we can bring other data, other data sources as well. So in this model, for example, another developer can connect to this data set and also bring some other information from Excel file, from text file. Someone else can use this combined with some web data sources, data from PDF, and they build their own version of a Power BI data model. Someone else might use that again to build something else. This is totally different from where you have seen silos. In silos, there is no relationship between Power BI data models. Everyone's model is totally separate. Here, however, we do have relationships. If I already have some calculations, if I have some data sources already in my central model, in other models, I'm reusing it, not redoing it. Uh, I don't need to spend so much time to do that calculation again. I just reuse that calculation. So I'll have more consistent result. I'll have less effort, less time to spend to build something I want. I just bring things that is not there. And someone else might use the result of whatever I've built. Uh, this altogether ends up building together a good data analytics solution across the whole organization, something that the whole organization can trust more. So using this approach, you'll reuse the models again and again. You can realize how this uh, can be effective. Uh, in fact, this is where uh, the two worlds of enterprise BI and self-service BI comes together, something that we didn't really had in principles uh, before, like there was some discussions that, well, Power BI helps to bring self-service BI in the world of enterprise BI, but in fact, they these two like users have been separate because they couldn't use this option because the live connection would have limited that. On the other hand side, import data would just be like too much power, lots of silos. Now these is providing that connection. Now an enterprise BI model can be used for a self-service BI. Self-service uh, champion can reuse that model and build something on top of it. This is how this is helpful. Now you can understand uh, why this is such a important feature in the world of uh, in the world of Power BI that can help uh, the whole implementation. Uh, there are some limitations at the moment about this feature, uh, but um, these limitations would be lifted. I'll have another video and blog explaining about how this works. This was about why it is good and what is it in general. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos about Power BI.